Hello, welcome to the data structures and algorithms course. Um, before we go into the individual lessons, let's look at what you'll be learning in this course. So these are the learning outcomes. Let's look at them one by one. So upon the successful completion of this course, you'll be able to implement data structures that match a given problem. So what are data structures? Um, they're basically part of whatever the programming solution that you will do, that you will write down as a program. Uh, you will be learning about them in the next few lectures. And then you'll be able to describe basic algorithms in a way that you can implement them by yourself. So you'll be able to write a sample coding um, of the implementation of such algorithms. These basic algorithms are sorting algorithms, searching algorithms, recursion algorithms, and graph algorithms. Thirdly, you will be able to analyze the complexity of algorithms. So complexity means, very simply put, uh, how much resources in time and compute power you would need to run an algorithm. Uh, it's important to know this because certain for certain data sets, when the data set size increases, certain algorithms are not practical to be run on, let's say a laptop. So you have to know how to look at an algorithm and get the complexity of the algorithm. This will help you to choose algorithms for a particular purpose. A bit more about this course. Basically, this is a very foundational course for programming, right? So it provides the fundamental knowledge required to analyze and solve problems in computer science and information technology. It helps to develop analytical thinking. It helps, to be, uh, it helps you to become uh, better at designing and developing solutions to real world problems. So you'll be trained to look at problems, break them down in a way that you could solve the problem using a computer program. So it's not just about writing programs it's actually i think it's a life skill you are looking at problems more objectively you are trained to break them down and uh, then you can once you solve simpler problems then you have the solution for the larger problem um, finally i have to say this course provides the uh, foundation to learn more about advanced algorithms so in this course we cover basic algorithms but this knowledge is quite important when you go on to learn about advanced algorithms. Here are the topics that we are going to cover uh, in the next lectures. There'll be two other lecturers joining me to deliver this course to you. Uh, so this is the list. I will be covering them. So for now, you can just have a quick look at it in your own time. 